Jed, sum up what must have been a pretty frustrating night for you and your team tonight. You know what, we played some actually good football, to be honest with you, but we, we can't concede two goals like that first half. Two, two silly crosses, let them cross it, and then we never picked up in the box, and we just can't do that. We're dominating the play without really hurting them, and then they get two, two crosses in like that, and we, we don't pick up. It, it just, it just, it's, it's hard to swallow. Is it a case of leaving yourself too much to do? Because you started both halves quite brightly. Yeah, we're a good team, we're a better team than Warsaw tonight. We were, better, we were the best team, but to be fair to them, they, they sat in and counter attacked us, and obviously they, they were two goals up, so we, they could afford to do that. Where we were, we were leaving ourselves up and trying to get a goal, it just never fell for us. But um, the, their third goal, I've got to say, I've got, I got booked for it. When you see it, the lads pulled Stokesy down, and then the ball's gone too many scored. It's an absolute joke, by the way, but it is what it is, and you just have to get on with it. Yeah, you got the caution, didn't you? Frustrations boiled over in the moment. Do you regret that? Is it just a natural reaction? No, I don't regret it at all. I was right. He was 100% wrong, the referee. It's a really, really bad decision he's made. And I've spoken to him about it and told him. And when he sees it, he'll understand why I, why I, why I was frustrated. Because it was never, it was a foul all day. It was a yellow card for the lad. But no, he let it play and he scored off it. But the game was over by then anyway. We were chasing. Just... As far as the way you approach these games, you saw quite a lot of the ball tonight. We've talked in the past about pressing and counter-attacking and maybe not having that possession. How difficult is it to deal with the way that Walsall want to play and their strengths? I don't, so much, I don't think it's so much as that. I don't think they could get, they could get near us tonight, especially before they scored. They, they couldn't get near us. We passed the ball really well and we, we created a few chances, a few crosses in, without really, as I said before, without really hurting them. But, it went down to the way they play. I just don't think they could, they could deal with us the way we were passing the ball. As far as the goals you conceded, you've already run us through the three goals. How hard is it when it's a small lapse, a, a problem with concentration, a small mistake, and it leads to the ball going in the back of your net? Well, we spoke about, we've spoke about this the last six weeks. We've said in, the, in this league a lot of teams can see from crosses, and we didn't want to be one of those teams that can see from crosses. And we, we went to... A, through a stage where we defended really well. We locked onto our man and we defended the crosses and we weren't conceding. The last two games we've conceded goals off crosses and it's, it's not good enough and we'll work on it on Thursday. You had a lot of approach play. You got into the final third and then didn't really create a shot on target and test their goalkeeper. Is that another frustration tonight? It is, yeah. But to have all the possession, even um, how many corners did we have? We must have had double figures in corners, easy. And uh, they were dangerous, good balls in and we, we never got on the end of it. Obviously, Faz, Faz, our best set of the ball, was on the bench and Jed Garner weren't playing tonight, which, which hurt us a little bit. National centre-forward holds the ball up for us and gets us playing. Obviously, he gets on the end of things as well, so he was a loss, but the lads who come in, as, as you say, we, we, we created chances, but never really hurt them. In a nutshell, is it about sharpening up in both boxes? It should definitely sharpen up in our box, defending, but not, not so much in there. We've, we've scored a lot of goals lately and, um, from all over the pitch, so our set pieces have been really, really good and, and they're getting back to the standard I want them at at the minute. But as you say, we need to sharpen up in our own box, definitely. You mentioned Jed Garner there. What's the situation? How is he with that hip problem? He'll be back Saturday. Um, he, he just went right for today's game. Um, he, was, he was feeling this morning, but Saturday he'll be back in contention. It feels like we've talked endlessly about this game in hand situation. Is the good news tonight that the teams around you haven't made any ground and the gap is still a point? Yeah, there's still 40. We just spoke about in the changing. There's still 14 games to go, so there's loads and loads of points to play for. Obviously, the fans and people are talking about getting in the playoffs now, but we just won't need to win games. We're not, it's long, as I say, there's loads of points to play for, and we, we've got to pick up our home wins. Get our home wins, we'll be okay. And I hate doing the whole do you take the positives thing. But is there a lot to build on going into a game against Grimsby at the weekend? You know what? There actually was a lot of positive tonight. We actually moved the ball well. We, our pattern play was very good. A lot of good movements off, off the ball. And um, we defended well outside our box, to be fair. So there is a lot of positives. There's always positive safe from football. And some, some of the lads put really good performances in tonight. I thought Nelson was exceptional today in our midfield. Joe come back from, from his, uh, his illness the weekend and he looked good. And Guillaume, when he come on, he done really well. So there is a lot of positives, yeah, definitely. And how much do you look forward to getting back out there on Saturday and, and putting a few things right? Yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, we've won our last home game, so we'll be full of confidence going in. And I said to the lads, listen, we've had a fantastic month in February. We win Saturday, but 
it's great. We've only lost one game all, all, all February, so it's a great month. It's, we would have sucked that before the month started. So you, you can't put your heads down after one defeat. We have to brush ourselves down and, and get going again Saturday. Get money for your old